Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Clem Hawks, everybody. I'm Yak, ready to take you through today's biggest news. We can talk all about trade targets, we can talk about all stars, but there is some big happenings in Canada regarding the Minnesota Twins today. And oh, well, you know what? It's not the modern day Minnesota Twins, but it's those Twins of the mid 2000s that made it so much fun to watch. Justin Morneau has been inducted to the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame, right? That, we're not talking about the like MLB Hall of Fame. We're talking about the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame, but that's fine and dandy. Justin Morneau got his induction honors today and is now a full-fledged member of the Canadian Hall of Fame for baseball. And that's a pretty special moment because, right, he, he did a lot of firsts in the MLB for Canadians winning the AL MVP, a first as a Canadian, and right, a guy who had a phenomenal career, was a stand-up guy throughout his whole career. Here, there you go, there's the photo you need to know, the tweet from the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame regarding Justin Morneau's entry into the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame today on June 18th. That's the scoreboard, that's me, oh my goodness. We're all kinds of discombobulated, I'm not excited. However, that's where we're sitting, right? Justin Morneau, an AL MVP in 2006. He was a Twins Calvin R. Griffith MVP award winner in 06 and 08, right? This is the other half of that mauer morno combo from those big years back in the day with the Twins. 06, 08, an AL Silver Slugger, the play, AL Player of the Month in May 07. And he did make actually uh, two MLB Futures game selections as well, if you didn't know that. But in uh, in 2008, he uh, ranked he ranked first in a couple of things uh, over the course of his career batting average. In uh, 2014, 319 first in the NL. That's not when he was with the Twins, but still an accomplishment there for him. Games played in 2008, he played 163 games. That old famous game, 163. And you know what? He came up pretty close in 08 with fifth in doubles in the AL back when he was with the Twins. And he had quite a few great seasons. Seventh in the AL in average in 2006 at 321. And that was it. That was all. Morneau was done after 2016. But right, there's a lot of accomplishments in his career and you kind of see he was Minnesota that whole time pretty much from 03 all the way to 2012 and then 14-15 with Colorado and 2016 with the Chicago White Sox. So this is the guy who played the bulk of his career. Yes, he had some injury plagued years with some concussions and stuff, but the bulk of his career was with the Minnesota Twins and now in one sense of a word, a Hall of Famer in the uh, Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame and a guy who made my home country of Canada very proud all those years with the Minnesota Twins doing what he did. Finished with 247 home runs, 985 RBIs, a career 281 batting average and essentially as well an OPS career of 829. This guy was phenomenal and for Twins fans I remember all those years watching him play with the Twins because Back in the day in Canada, when there was a big name Canadian succeeding on a team somewhere, that team got Canadian coverage from Sportsnet or TSN. And you know what? We watched a lot of the Minnesota Twins in those Justin Morneau years, and it was a blast watching him play ball because he was doing things, right? Winning the AL MVP as the first Canadian ever to do it, doing it for the first time, and doing it as well as he did it. Folks, Congratulations to Justin Morneau on his induction into the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame. And hopefully this is a bright spot on your Saturday afternoon as we get prepared to play ball at 8, 10 p.m., 9, 10 p.m., whatever you want to say, Central Mountain, wherever the heck you are in the countries, against the Arizona Diamondbacks tonight. I'm Yak, up on, out of here.